There are some sitcom characters who may not have had a large role, but we remember them just as much as the main cast. They make the most of their screen time, which causes audiences to fall in love with them. The character of Charmaine Brown first appeared on The Cosby Show in 1990. Now, despite only being in 13 episodes, she left a big enough impact on the show to continue the character on a different world for its final season. Charmaine was played by Karen Melina White, and her fast-talking, high-pitched voice was a memorable part of her characters. After playing Charmaine, White would go on to secure a role on the sitcom Malcolm and Eddie, which gave her more screen time. White's on-camera ability to charm viewers with her grace and charisma has made her an invaluable actor of whichever ensemble she's a part of, which is why Karen Melina White will always remain unforgotten. Karen Melina White was born and raised in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, and studied at the Philadelphia High School for Creative and Performing Arts. After high school, White attended Howard University and earned a Bachelor of Fine Arts degree. While at Howard, White won Miss Howard University and would land her first acting role as well. After a time in Howard, White would then move to New York City to begin her career in theater. I was doing a lot of theater in New York before I got discovered. In 1989, White would make a name for herself as she was still the scene on Lean On Me starring Morgan Freeman. In the movie, White plays Kenesha Carter, an old student of Morgan's character. For her performance, White was nominated for a Young Artist Award in 1990. It was my first big break. I got the job without an agent, standing in a casting line of thousands, and got picked. The following year, White continued that momentum by scoring a recurring role in one of the most popular sitcoms at the time, The Cosby Show. White played Charmaine Brown, Pam's best friend. Charmaine was dating Lance, played by actor Alan Payne, and would eventually become yet another guest who was always in and out of the Huxtable household. In a 2009 radio interview on Straight From The Horse's Mouth, White revealed that she originally auditioned for the role of Pam which eventually went to Erica Alexander. White was the runner-up, so the producers decided to cast her as Pam's best friend and was only supposed to appear in one episode. We were the last scene of that episode, so I was nervous the whole time. I couldn't wait. The show was taking forever to tape. By the time it got to my scene, I was so nervous that the words came out, and that's how Charmaine was born, because I was so nervous, I talked so fast. The audience loved it. Mr. Cosby was like, I like that, keep it. White would continue the character on a spinoff of Different World where Charmaine attended Hillman College during the last season. Her relationship with Lance ended and she even got caught cheating at school, but by the end of the series, she was still enrolled at Hillman. Behind the scenes, White would end up making her first trip to Los Angeles to be a part of the cast. In addition to the Cosby show in A Different World, White made a few appearances on a few other iconic black sitcoms, including Jazz's Wife and Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, Living Single, and a recurring role on Hanging with Mr. Cooper. In 1996, White was cast in Malcolm and Eddie. The role would reunite her with Cosby Show co-star Malcolm Jamal Warner. It turns out that her previous relationship with Warner would work to her benefit, as she would reveal later on that she didn't have to audition for the role. I was doing theater, getting paid like 800 a week at the time, and they called me to do Malcolm and Eddie. And I said, I really want to keep doing this play, and they said they'd work around my schedule. On tape day, I would tape without an audience and would go off and do theater. I was at the height of my career with Malcolm and Eddie. White was part of the show for all four seasons playing Nicolette Van Dross, the neighbor of Malcolm and Eddie. Nicolette was a meter maid, or as she liked to call it, a parking enforcer. Nicolette had a crush on Eddie, played by Eddie Griffin, but he didn't return that favor. Interesting enough, when the series ended in 2000, it was later revealed that White and Malcolm Jamal Warner were dating in real life. Their relationship would last close to seven years, and some assumed that they had got married. I'm not married. People probably started saying that because we were in a relationship for seven and a half years. The relationship would come to an end in 2007 for unknown reasons and it appears that White would go on to get even more private about her personal life. When Malcolm and Eddie ended, White would land another noteworthy role as a voice on Disney Channel's The Proud Family, playing one of Penny Proud's best friends, Dejanae Jones. Outside of acting in 2009, White shared that she started doing stand-up in between acting gigs. I'm used to people writing for me. I can take a script and make that funny or use other people's words, but when you have to go up there and be yourself, 
it's a whole new ball game. White is no stranger to the stage, as she has been actively involved in live theater over the years, which explains her brief absence from screens. In 2008, she was in a stage play called Distracted, and in 2010, she was in another theater production called The Ballad of Emmett Till. Now, during an interview, White would go on to be asked about her absence even more. It's a hard business. It's up and down. It goes through its changes. It appears that White has also experienced trouble with finding the right roles, which could be another reason why people started seeing her less. In 2014, she would release a music video to express her frustration with the industry. The name of this tune is Hollywood Goddamn. Despite her frustration with the business, White has continued to finding work in shows like Southland, The Mentalist, and How to Get Away with Murder, all of which were one episode guest appearances. In 2015, she was cast in a Disney Channel sitcom, I Didn't Do It. White was last seen on stage in Eight Nights, which finished its run in 2019. The year before that, White appeared in The Mountaintop, where she played a fictional character who is a maid who delivers room service to Martin Luther King Jr at Lorraine Hotel on the day he passed away. The play centers around the day MLK was killed. When asked about her character, White said she is a voice of those youth who may have been leaning a little bit more towards Malcolm X and the Black Panther movement. She also stands for women of the time and challenges him about his little bits of sexism and traditional roles of women in the movement. Karen Molina White has remained steady in her acting roles since she first emerged on the scene in the late 80s. Whether it's TV, movies, or theater, she shined in every outlet we've seen her in. Her roles on The Cosby Show in Different World and Malcolm Eddy have entertained fans for years, which is why Karen Molina White will always remain unforgotten. Are you a comedy fan like us? Head over to the Comedy Hype Shop for comedy collectibles and more. Go to comedyhype.com slash shop and follow Comedy Hype Shop on Instagram.